Hello, my name is Anya, and I'm gonna show you how I apply this kind of makeup on my face. So just keep watching. You want to start off with a clean face. Just wash your face and leave it very clean to put your makeup on. Next, you want to put your circle lens into your eyes. I got my lenses from Unixo, and you can use my 10% off code. I'm using some white double eyelid tape from Minisol. To put them on, I started slightly above my crease and from the edge of my pupil, which gives me a bigger eyelid space. I'm using the high adherence silicon primer from The Ordinary and put some dots on the sides and everywhere on the face and just smear it around. To prime my eyelids, I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer. I just get a small amount on my finger and dab it on the top and bottom of my eyes and pat it around the whole eye area, making sure not to move the eyelid tape already on the face. The foundation I'm using is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in F6, and I start off with putting it on the half of my face. Since it's a matte foundation, it dries really quickly. When I get to my nose, I brush it downwards with the handle pointing away from my face and just dab the excess onto the eyelid area. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Big and Blots in Translucent and I'm just putting it on my cheekbones, my chin and on my forehead and top of nose and just leaving it to bake. Next I'm using the Makeup Revolution Contour Kit and I'm taking the darkest brown and contouring my cheekbones, then under my chin and the sides of my forehead temple area. Just blend starting from the chin area. I'm not good with free handing so I'm just using my finger to blend my cheekbones in and taking my finger off to blend it even more. Taking a clean fluffy brush just brush away the baking powder that I had on my face. I'm using the Innisfree Matte Blur Press Setting Powder and just pat it all over the face, setting, setting the whole face. For my cheeks, I'm using the NARS Blushing Orgasm. It's a nice pink blush colour. I dropped it so it's kind of broken. Since it's a darker pink colour, I'm putting it on the outer sides of my cheeks and sweeping it inwards. For my eyebrows, I'm using the Innisfree Auto Eyebrow in the colour grey. It has a handy mascara spool thing in the end. I'm starting my eyebrows from the edge of my nose and just brushing it outwards in short strokes and using the mascara spoolie thing to brush the eyebrows in. My natural eyebrows begin slightly further away from my nose so I like to draw it in quite well. Using the darkest brown from my contour palette, I'm just contouring in the sides of my nose. I'm just sweeping the contour outwards for my nose. I'm contouring my nose even more by contouring the top and bottom of my nose. I'm using the ColourPop I Like Your Face highlighter to highlight my face. I'm taking the lighter shade and highlighting the top of my nose and bringing it up to my forehead. Taking the pink highlighter, just sweep it on the sides of the cheeks. Then sweep the lightest highlighter to the forehead. The concealer I'm using is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C6. With the concealer brush, I'm putting it under my eyebrows and on the top of my eyebrows to clean up the edges. Then using my finger to blend it out. I use the lightest highlighter to highlight the top and bottom of my eyebrows. Baby, baby, baby. 
ear eyeshadow palette I'm using instead models prefer day to light eyeshadow palette. Using the afterglow just sweep it all over the eyelids. Using the color witch just put it on your eyelids below the crease. Then sweep it to the bottom outer corner of your eyes. With a sharp brush use the color hazel and apply it to the bottom outer corners of your eyes. Taking the same color just line across the eyelash line. Using the same color, line the double eyelid crease and it helps when you look directly forward. Tilt your head backwards to clean up the eyelid crease. With a clean blush, just blend in the lines. Taking some red eyeshadow, just dab the excess off and put it on the outer Vs of your eyes. Sweep the red eyeshadow outwards and blend it out. Using the eyeshadow ivory, put it in the inner corners of the eyes. Taking some concealer, put it on the eye bags 3 quarters of the way and then blend it out with your ring finger. Taking the lightest highlighter, sweep it onto the eye bags. Taking the contour powder, just line the eye bags and blend it out with green blush. It gives me more definition and dimension to the eyes, making it look bigger. I'm using the Innisfree Real Lasting Eyeliner. Just line the top of the eyelids. Following the shape of my eyes and making sure that it doesn't touch the double eyelid tape. To give it the dolly effect, I'm not winging the eyeliner but I'm dragging it downwards. To make my eyes look bigger, I'm lining the inner corners of my eyes. I'm using the Innisfree Powerproof Pen Liner to create sharper lines on my eyes. I'm colouring my eyelashes with the Innisfree Premium Eyelash Curler. Using a Rimmel London Volume Mascara in Black, I just coated the top of my eyelashes with the mascara. The fake eyelashes I'm using are much longer towards the middle. I put it on about a centimeter away from the corners of my eyes. Making sure to push the eyelashes upwards. Taking the pen liner, just redefine the eyes and make the edge longer. Taking the highlighter, just highlight the cupid's bow, but not too much because then it'll look like you smelt some salt. My lips, I'm using the Innisfree Vivid Cotton Ink Blur Number no. 3 in Moody Rose. Start lining the inner parts of the lips and when there's barely any left, just brush it onto the rest of the lips. Using the finger, just blend all around the edges of the lips. Be careful not to smudge too much. To make the inner parts of the lips darker, just reapply the lip tint. I'm just cleaning up my makeup by reapplying my contour. To finish off my makeup, I'm using the Revolution Base Fix Makeup Fixing Spray. Just spritz it onto the face a couple times. And here's the finished makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed my makeup tutorial, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you next time, bye bye!